Hello once again and welcome to this uh, tutorial uh, that could be probably one of our final tutorials uh, in uh, Geonode, in working with Geonode. And we are going to add, uh, in this tutorial we are going to look at how we can access the layers in Geonode. So allow me to open the browser. And we have uh, layers uh, that we uploaded in our previous videos. And uh, they are here. this is how they look like. Uh, we have one raster layer, three vector layers, and uh, one remote layer. So what we are going to do, we are going to open our QGIS. So the QGIS is a GIS desktop, open source GIS desktop software. And uh, uh, if you want to understand how to work with QGIS, you can check my uh, videos on the QGIS tutorial series uh, that are present in my channel. I have a playlist for that. So uh, we have uh, this QGIS. Let's say probably your QGIS looks like this. Uh, so we do not have any, probably any layers panels. So what you can do is uh, you can click on the view uh, menu up here on the menu bar. And then you click on the panels and you can add uh, the browser panel. And I'll also additionally add the layers panel. So we have the uh, this section that has WMS, WMTS, and then we have the vector tiles, which you can also add. We have the XYZ tiles that have the OpenStreetMap, OSM, and uh, we also have the OGC API. Uh, so all of these WMS, the WFS, the OGC web services can be incorporated into uh, QGIS. But in this case, I want us to use Geonode which is an addition that came, I think, I'm not sure if it came with the QGIS 3, but it wasn't there in earlier versions of QGIS, but we have it now. So I'll right click on this Geonode, and then I'll click New Connection, and uh, you have to ensure that your Geonode is, instance is running. So in this case, mine is also, it's running uh, on localhost. And uh, I'll just add uh, my, my local connection, so I'll just call it local geonode, and then for the URL, I'll call it, I'll just use HTTP uh, localhost, so which is equivalent to 127.0.0.1. And uh, for the WFS version, I'm not sure, but probably I can check that. Uh, how do I do that? I can come here and uh, add your server. And I can check the WMS version. So it supports 1.1.1 and 1.3.0. So I'll add the 1.1. Uh, probably yeah, I can also click detect. Let's see if it detects. Uh, I'm not sure if it's detecting, but maximum number of features. We can set the maximum also. Uh, although we need not because we do not have many layers. But it tells us enter a number to limit the maximum retrieved per feature request. So if we leave it empty, no feature. So if you're loading a server that has so many layers, you need you may need to set up a maximum limit because some servers have restrictions. If you uh, have worked with some server, I think it was an open street map whereby if you make so many HTTP requests, uh, it kind of starts complaining. Or you can also be it can also have be on a server that has limited the number of requests that you can do per a given time, a given duration of time. Yeah, so we will uh, I'll leave the rest as they are. I'll click on test connection. So it says connection was successful. Is a, uh, It is a valid geonode instance. So it was like validating the connection and checking whether it is a valid geonode instance. So I'll click OK and then I can also click OK there. And you'll notice that we have something here. We do not have this drop down. So I've clicked on it and it is uh, now showing the services that are present. We have WFS, Web Feature Services, that are available. We also have Web Map Services that are available. To understand how to work with GeoServer, because GeoServer is the underlying GIS server for Geonode, uh, you may you can check on my videos in my channel. I'm going to share the link in the description on how what is WFS and working with WMS for GeoServer. So now these are layers that are present here, and we can see uh, other other layers here. So this is the these are the remote layers. I presume because there are so many. Uh, so let me start with my local uh, connection. So let me just drag and drop. 
is there for the admin counties country rather so these are how they look like so this is how they look like and uh, you can be able to fetch some information from the layer that data from kenya you can see how it looks like and uh, we can also add uh, let me add the raster layer so uh, let me and select same. So this is you can zoom to that layer. So this is how it looks like. So this layer is loading from the from the local uh, GeoNode server. And you can see we have the properties. You can also check the feature and text if any. And the ones. So this is an RGB image. Uh, yeah. It is somewhere in Kenya. Kenya. So we can also load one from the uh, from the remote survey server. It's in task completed loading layers. That's also the beauty with GeoNode. It also shows us the yeah. So this is an uh, uh, a layer that has been loaded. Don't wait is from but can check on the future can also check on the text its geometry and all and the layers and the length and all that yeah so this summarizes how we can access geonode uh, layers using the uh, QGIS so equally I believe you can access it using other GIS software that support accessing the information from our uh, geonode so you can if you really you would want to change some parameters on your connection you can right click and edit the connection okay so yeah so this summarizes our tutorial and uh, feel free to work with the QGIS and uh, geonode uh, there is there are an open source tools that can be able to work together uh, towards achieving many goals and these are what organizations are also uh, working on and using to on their day-to-day -day GIS uh, GIS operations uh, so like, uh, if you find this content uh, to be of essence kindly like share and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, feel free to also click on the bell icon so that whenever I upload uh, new content uh, you can be able to get a notification uh, thank you for watching.